Cal OES logo. News update. OESnews.com. Hi, I'm Brian May in the Cal OES newsroom. The atmospheric river that is parked over California continues to cause flooding problems, especially around some of the small rivers, creeks, and low-lying areas around California. We've got multiple weather watches throughout the state, uh, weather advisories that are currently active throughout the state, and one of the hardest hit areas appears to be in and around the area of Guerneville. That is in Sonoma County, Northern California. They've gotten almost a foot of rain in the last two days. We have seen mandatory evacuations in Butte, Shasta and Sonoma counties. Just south of Guerneville, my colleague Sean Boyd joining us from the small area of Monterio. And Sean, just looking at you, I can tell there is water, water everywhere. Sean Boyd stands in front of abandoned cars on a flooded road. Water, water everywhere. Yes, indeed. Any uh, town and uh, that it lies up and down the Russian River is being impacted by this storm, uh, the repeated storm, this uh, atmospheric river that doesn't seem to want to go away. What we have seen all day today as we drove up and down the area and all around the area outside of Guerneville is flooding and lots and lots of it, such as this uh, road here behind me. Uh, whether, whether it's flooding or uh, roads that have been washed out, roads that have been flooded, um, even uh, you know where we have seen mudslides, all of this is taking place right now depending on where you are in and around the Guerneville area. And this is happening uh, in places that you might not expect. But let me tell you, this is something that we expected. We saw the storms coming. We knew that it was going to dump a lot of rain. It is a blessing and a curse because after several years of drought, we can use the snowpack. But what we can't have is all of this flooding. That's not a good thing. But what is happening is that the state is coordinating and uh, we're monitoring closely what is going on. Uh, we have activated the state operations center. And as for the locals, they have activated their emergency operations centers, and they are working uh, to make sure that people are safe, evacuating those folks who, who can and need to be evacuated. Many of them have chosen to stay, uh, but they continue to watch. And uh, if things do get worse, of course, you know, uh, that word will go out. Uh, but right now, I do want to pan off. Let's show this, John. We got a guy right here. This is a perfect example of really how people are getting around. Uh, maybe not everybody, but but this guy has been out here before. He's been out checking his property and uh, to make sure that, you know, things are OK, about as OK as they can be. A man rows a canoe through the floodwaters. Uh, but we're going to continue to monitor this and uh, in, be sure to pay attention to all of the alerts and warnings, uh, Cal OES, the OESnews.com uh, website, as well as our Twitter and Facebook accounts. We will continue to update you on any really important information you need to know. Uh, but right now, uh, it is, I'm not gonna say situation normal, but these folks here have seen this kind of thing before, and uh, it, it's just something that they have to cope with. But uh, be sure to stay tuned to all of your local news outlets and everywhere you get your emergency information because it's gonna be updated probably all day and all night until this atmospheric river has gone. Brian. And Sean, I know the Russian River is expected to kind of hit its crest later this evening at over 46 feet. Tell me about Monterio yeah. behind you. What is this area like when, when it's not covered in water? Well, when it's not covered in water, it's a very tiny town, and everybody here seems to know everybody. There, uh, the locals have told me here there are a lot of former uh, veterans who have made this their home because it's a very welcoming home. Sean, it's really hard to tell from the picture behind you. Is it raining on you right now? What's the weather like? It is raining, and the intensity of the rain changes. Right now, it's almost like a little flurry. If it was colder right now, we would have maybe some snow flurries. Uh, it's very light right now, but a little while ago, we had raindrops the size of which you would expect to come from a Florida storm. A lot of rain coming. So it comes and goes, I guess, depending on which way that atmospheric river is flowing. All right, Sean Boyd, uh, live in Monterio, just south of Guerneville. You guys stay safe out there. As you heard Sean mention, the State Emergency Operations Center here at Cal OES headquarters has been activated, not at the highest level, but a level two right now. We will continue to monitor the situation as more weather is expected to come in. In the meantime, as you heard Sean mention, make sure you monitor your local emergency officials, your local media. If there's standing water on a road, by all means, turn around, don't drown, don't drive through it. Allow yourself extra time. For all of us here at Cal OES, I'm Brian May in the OES Newsroom. Thanks for watching.